Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Holla at your boy. Back again with another video. So, Google pushed out the monthly security update for February, and it's live. But let's say you don't wanna wait till Google pushes it to your device. Well, in today's video, I will show you how to get it done. So, without any further ado, let's go! All right, y'all, so before we can go ahead and flash this on our device, we need to do three things first. Number one, you must have an unlock boot loader. Number two, you must have Android platform tools. And lastly, the latest and greatest of the factory images. Now, after you have all of these things, we can now proceed. Let's go ahead and download the factory images. So we're gonna pull up Google and we're gonna go to the address bar here and we're gonna type in factory IMG. Hit enter, let me go ahead and zoom in. Once you've done that, we're gonna scroll down until we get to the first link here. We're gonna click on that link. All right, now once you get to the factory images page, you wanna scroll down. Now once you get to this area right here, Right here, you want to really pay attention to what you're doing right here because you want to make sure you download the correct files for your device. Now, I have the Pixel 5, so this is my area, Redfin, but this update is available for the Pixel 3 and up. So you just want to make sure it, whatever device you have, if you have the 4, the 4XL, whatever, from the Pixel 3A all the way up, you want to make sure that you download the correct files for your device. For me, since I have Pixel 5 Redfin, I'm going to scroll down until I see February security patch. Another thing you want to do is make sure you download the correct one for your service provider. If you have Google 5, you will click this first one right here. Me, I have T-Mobile. I will click this one. And if you have Verizon, you will click on this one. I will click on this one. And I do not want to click Flash. I do not want to click this. I want to click Link because Flash will take you to some Flash tool thing that you can use. Me personally, I don't like doing that. I like to manually install this myself. So for me, I'm gonna click on link. Download has begun. And once the download is finished, we can exit this page right here because we do not need it anymore. Now let's go to where you put your platform tool folder. I put mine on my desktop. Double click platform tool folder. So now we are in the platform tools folder. This is the correct directory that we want to be in. Now we're gonna open up that zip that we download. So we're gonna open up our download folder, select that, drag it and put it to your desktop. So we're gonna double click there. So now once you double clicked on the zip, you should find a folder inside of that zip. We're gonna double click that folder. Inside of the folder, you should see a few files in here. The only files that we need is the bootloader, all that back. We need the image and we need the radio. All we're gonna do is drag and drop to the platform tools folder. So we already drag and drop. We can go ahead and close out this zip because we don't need the zip anymore. We go to the address bar up here at top and we type in C. M D. Hit enter. A command window should pop up here. Here is the command window here. After you open up the folders, connect our phone to the PC. We are going to go into the CMD window here. Inside of the command window, we are going to type A D B devices. Hit enter. So once you did that, you should have a message that pop up on the phone asking you, do you want to allow USB debugging? So you wanna click always allow from this computer. So you wanna hit allow. So now we're gonna go back to the command window up here. We're gonna type ADB devices. Once again, hit enter. So now you should receive some numbers and letters and device. So now you should be good and ready. Once you've done that, we're gonna type ADB reboot boot loader. Now, once you hit enter, this is gonna reboot 
your device into bootloader mode. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. So now once we are in fast boot mode, we're gonna go back up to our command window up here. This time we're gonna type fast boot devices. And we're gonna hit enter. And once you do that, the computer should recognize the phone in fast boot mode. And as you can see here, the same numbers, but this time you have fast boot. That right there is telling me my phone is ready to go. Once we did all of that, go back to your platform tool folder. This is freaking simple from here. All we're gonna do is look for that flash all dot bat file, which is here. And once you double click on this right here, it's gonna reboot your phone and it's gonna start doing some work. We're gonna go ahead and double click here. So yeah, it's doing some work. So don't touch anything. Let it do its thing. You just come back to it. So we're gonna go ahead and let this finish. It's flashing all the stuff that it needs to flash. So, so don't worry, don't, don't touch anything. So just sit back, be patient, give it a minute. And once it's all said and done, we should be on February security patch for the Pixel 5. So once this reboot, we should be on the latest and greatest. So as you can see there, the G is loading. Come on, you can do it, my friend. I believe in you. Hey, and there we have it. That right there, my friend, is how you install the latest security patch without having to wait for Google to push it to your device. Now, before I get up out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my device and we're gonna actually see if we are on the February security patch. So, bear with me. So now is the moment of truth. Are we really on the latest February security patch? Bam! And as you see right there, Pixel 5 on the latest February security patch. That's how you get that there done. No longer waiting on Google, you can go ahead and get this done yourself. So if you guys found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you guys are not subscribed yet to the channel, smash that like button as well as smash the notification bell. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next video. Later.